Hey, I'm Sam and I do design. In the video today, I'm showing you how to save heaps of time sketching in Procreate. So this is just a quick video to show you how you can replicate um, clipping masks that you might find in Photoshop within the Procreate app on the iPad. Currently in Procreate 4.1, you can't get clipping masks, but you can get layer masks and I use that to replicate clipping masks using this method. It's going to save you so much time. Previously in the past, I used to use a large brush uh, and then erase away the edges on the outside, but this method is so much quicker and it's going to save you guys a lot more time in your renderings. For those of you who don't know, this is a quick summary of layer masks and clipping masks. They're basically going to hide and show different areas of your layers depending on what you tell it. So a layer mask, for example, will only show the layer if the layer mask is white and where the layer mask is black, it's going to hide the layer underneath. A clipping mask works in a similar way, but instead of using a separate layer, you can tell it to only show the layer based on what is on the layer underneath it. So for example, if you've got a flat background color and you want to add some highlights and shadows, but you only want it in the area where that background color is, you would use a clipping mask in Photoshop and anywhere that you paint on screen, it's just going to show it on that area. So with that out of the way, Procreate 4.1 doesn't yet include clipping masks, but it does include layer masks. I'm going to show you this technique to replicate clipping masks and save you time. So within Procreate 4.1 now, you can see that I've started to draw the Logitech MX vertical mouse and I've started to put in an outline using a hard brush. This is going to be the selection that I use to apply to the layer mask on all of my other layers. So at the top of the page, you can see the icon for all of your layers. And once you've got that listed, you can scroll down to where your background layer is, click on that, and it's going to give you some options that you can choose from there. What you're going to do is press select, and that's going to select only the pixels that have been colored in on that layer. Then you can go ahead and make a new layer. And with that layer selected, you can go in and press mask. And there you go, you've got yourself a layer mask that will replicate a clipping mask. Then on that layer, the only thing that will show up is anything that is within that white section of your layer mask. So you can sketch anywhere that you like, and it's always going to stay within the lines. This technique is something that I've been using in Procreate 4.1 a lot recently, and it's something that's really improved my sketching time. You can see that I've used it here on the Logitech mouse by going around the edges with a darker color to add the shadows, and it's always stayed within the lines that I drew earlier. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning about layer masks, replicating clipping masks in Procreate 4.1. Let me know down in the comments if you want to learn anything else about Procreate. I'd love to share some more tips and hints with you, but you need to let me know first before I can show you. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.